Welcome to my tutorial on how to add a font in GoodNotes. First, I will go to thefont.com. And then from here you can type, uh, select anything from fancy to techno, gothic, basic script. For this one, I am gonna choose a script. And if you're not familiar with this site, in the middle of the page there is a preview blank and you can enter in any font that you're looking to add the specific words. So if you wanted to type my bills, you can type my bills. For this one, I'm going to type pay bills. And then you have a choice of how many fonts you want to see. I always choose 100, medium, and then submit. And it's going to show you all the fonts with a specific wording that you want to use. So I'm gonna scroll just for a little bit to show you the different options. And then once you find one that you do like, you just choose to download it, which is gonna be to the right. And the one I chose is Spacecraft. Now you can choose any that you want. Then from here, I use iZip to unzip it. So then you're gonna choose open and iZip. And once you get there, you get your little pop-up ad and it asks if you wanna unzip all files. You choose yes. Then you have to watch an ad because it's not free. Sorry for the ad. <laughs> then you're gonna click on Spacecraft TTF they are true type fonts and then you're going to save oh I'm sorry open and you're going to open it to any font once you click on any font it's going to show your list and again you're going to choose the one you just downloaded which is spacecraft you're going to Tap the icon in the center of the page to install. You're going to allow to let this settings configure the profile. Then you're going to install. Then you're going to next. And then you're going to install again. Install. And done. So now, once you close that out and open up your good notes, if I could click on the right one, then you choose your little spot you want to put it, choose your text box, Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta select the font first, which is under your little paintbrush. Find the font you just installed and choose your size and then type into your field. And see, I did it wrong. So let's go back, choose it again. Now I'll type. And I just type the name of the font real quick, but I'll erase it and actually type what I was going to do, which is pay bills. <laughs> and there you go. And as far as I can see, this only does work in GoodNotes 5. And you can adjust the size to fit where you need it to, just like any other font that's already currently installed. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll help you the best that I can. And thank you again for watching the tutorial. If 
you have any ideas of something that you do want to see, please let me know and I will try my best to get it done for you. Have a good day.